first day. Man was granted a soul and with it clarity. On the second day, upon earth was planted an irrevocable poison, a soul devouring demon. Hello everybody and welcome to Demon Souls. We're playing the original before the release of the remake, which I am so excited for. I have never beaten Demon Souls. I got through the first boss and uh, that was right around the time they cut the servers, so I uh, didn't get much of a chance to uh, experience the game because I was planning on playing it with a, uh, a friend but that was killed yeah we're just doing the vault and all this stuff these will be 30 minute okay oh I hate this uh, keyboard Let's name him. Okay, class. Yeah, we really want that knight armor. Even though it's going to be too heavy for us. We're not going to worry about the appearance, really, because... No point in doing that. King Aland the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the Set outside and Orlando? World, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. So if you don't know me, but Valor that's very likely. Fangs, <laughs> um, but I'm free from the fog, pretty familiar with the Soul series. The world of Boletaria's um, plight. I've played all of them. I've played this one. The I just old King didn't Alant get very far. Had aroused the old one. <laughs> the great beast below the nexus just from its eternal sleep. gotta arouse the and old one colorless fog had swept in unleashing terrible demons the demons hunt down men and claim their souls those who lose their souls also lose their minds the mad attack the same and chaos reigns Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurber the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland. Garl. And Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? 
Or have the demons found a new slave? I don't know. Let's find out. Did I start my timer? I did. Sage Freak. Visionary. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. the old one back to slumber which one is it does he want to sleep or does he want to be aroused all right so the first thing we're going to need to do is unequip some of this armor because it's going to be way too heavy Already forgotten how to souls. Okay. Catch me. That's not nice. second how are there phantoms if I'm on offline mode and the servers are dead so yeah this is uh very clunky but I I feel that you'll kind of get a for it as we go All right, so I remember this first area quite a bit So I will make this time slot that these episodes will appear the official Souls time slot. So I plan on visiting all of the Soulsborne games, excluding uh, likely Sekiro. Maybe at some point um, I'm talking specifically Dark Souls and Bloodborne. And then we'll, we'll see where we're at after, because that'll take me forever to get through all these games. Oh, I wish I would stop doing that. I was trying to be really crafty and like 
try to get around him to backstab him, but that didn't work out so well. Moon grass. I think that is one thing about Demon Souls is there's no like Estus flask that I know of. So we'll have to like make sure we gather stuff and whatnot. Boss time. However, the Nexus grasps you. Hatches the hyena. I forgot he was in this. So you're supposed to die there. I, I let him kill me. Um, I mean, he's not like a really that hard of a fight, because... It's just the damage difference, like, he can really, literally just kill you with one hit at this point. So when we fight him later, yeah, I'm gonna wipe my butt with his face. Got a ring? No, he did not. It was just an item. Let's see if we can equip these. Okay, we're fine there. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the archstones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed voluntaria. Hmm. You new here? Do you hear for my services? The name's Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons, or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? Okay, buy an item. Okay, we don't 
seem to have much. Perhaps you've already heard, but there's another blacksmith at the entrance of Stonefang Mine. He's an eccentric old man, but he knows his trade well. He's the only sane one left in a town of soul starving. Now, if you do meet him, yeah, well, forget it. That stubborn old near the well will just ignore you. No interest, eh? I can tell you, you're not gonna last long here. Oh, I think I'll last very long. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here, in the Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Okay. Best Not of luck yet. to you. Let's go explore. So, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to uh, split all this up for Demon Souls yet. I think if I ever undergo like grinding sessions, I might either do that like off camera or I'll just cut it out. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to grind. I need to remember how we level up in this game. I don't remember if it's like Dark Souls or if it's uh, different. Goo. Let's try that again. So rude.
Oh crap, I forgot about that ball. <laughs> Try to activate some shortcuts or find some items that are necessary. These guys have such a strong lunge attack, like, I mean, not strong, like, it's, it just has way too much reach. Okay. I thought that ball would have been a shortcut, but it's not. So we, we can move on. I think that stays that way now. <laughs> there will be many deaths. Uh, that's, that's the game. But every trip, you know, I'm learning something new.
But that half moon grass is a lot better because it heals more. So, there's really not much time left. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a little bit of grinding from basically this episode into the next. So, the next episode I'll be stronger I should be able to do more. So I really just need to figure out how to level up. So I'm going to head back to the Nexus and uh, see if I can figure that out after I kill this guy. Because the more armor I get on and stuff like that, um, the easier it'll get to like go through a little unscathed. So to the Nexus. So that is going to do it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm Slothlord, and I will see you all next time.